So today we're going to rearrange equations and formulas. So firstly, we have to look at the variables in the equation. So in this example, a times c plus 5 equals d minus 3. There are three variables, um, a, c, and d. So, so let's just say you want to isolate d. So you're just going to um, add 3 to each side. So that will be d minus 3 plus 3. So then that will like, cancel out. And then you would just end up with d. And then you have d equals ac plus 8. Inversion. When you rearrange, you have to remove values and variables. But I, when I say remove, I do not mean you completely remove them. You just have to kind of do the reverse operation that you see so you can isolate and rearrange the equation accordingly. So you have x plus 11 equals n plus 24. So you're going to subtract 11 from both sides which is x plus 11 minus 11 equals n plus 24 minus 11. And because you have plus 11 and minus 11, they cancel each other out, and you're left with x. So then you have x equals n plus 13. F minus 25 equals 6g. You're going to add 25 to both sides so you can get f. So f minus 25 plus 25 equals 6g plus 25. So in f equals 6g plus 25. So now you're going to divide in this equation to get the value of k. So you have 4k minus 3 equals mp. And you have three variables, k, m, and p. So you're going to add 3 to both sides. And doing so will cancel out this, and then you're left with 4k equals mp th plus 3. So you want to get k, not 4k, so that's why you divide each side by 4. And doing that, we'll get rid of the coefficient in front of k. So then you have k equals mp plus 3 divided by 4. In this equation, e equals d divided by 2, or 1 half of d. So you're going to multiply each side by 2. And then doing that again cancels it out. So you have one half of d from d divided by 2, and then 2 times a half equals 1. So then it's like saying 1d equals 2e. 
or just d equals 2e. So we're going to work with formulas now instead of just equations. So this is the formula for the area of a triangle. A equals base times height divided by 2. So the area equals base times height divided by 2, or 1 half of the base times the height. So now we want to isolate H, or the height. We're going to do that by multiplying each side by 2, because there is BH divided by 2, so you want to uh, multiply to cancel that out. And again, because you're dividing by 2 here, you're going to multiply by 2. So then doing that cancels it out. So now you only have 2a equals base times height. And now you want to have only h on one side. So you divide both sides by the base. And now you're left with h equals 2a divided by b. This is a Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared and you want to isolate b. So, since there's a squared plus b squared, you want to subtract the a squared, so you have b squared on one side of the equation. plus a squared minus a squared, that cancels everything out. So now you're left with b squared equals c squared minus a squared. And now, be, now you have b squared, but you want to isolate b, so you're going to do the square root. So you square everything on both sides of the equation. And because the 2 here means you're squaring it, and then the square root symbol will just cancel everything out. So you're left with b equals the square root of c squared minus a squared. 